Are you one of those people that when you get mad, you cut off absolutely everybody? I mean, you just go ahead and recluse, you cut everybody off. If so, this is the perfect video for you. My name is Cyrus Asar, and my mission is to embody the emotion of overcoming. I believe we all fight battles we hide from the world. My objective is to help you win those battles through perspective. Stay tuned. Are you one of those people that when you get upset, you cut everybody off? Everybody off. Nobody gets a call. Nobody gets a nothing. You're not answering anything. You need a time. You just need the time with your thoughts. Well, there's a huge pro and a huge con to that. One, the huge pro is we need time to ourselves to reflect. Whatever's going on, we need that time to reflect to say, this is what's happening. This is how I got to deal with it. This is how I overcome it. This is the way I process it. Sometimes we need that separation to deal with the problem of which we are going through. But I will say this. During that time of recluse, we cannot forget the people that are in our corners. Too many times I see people going through something and they choose to go through it by themselves and it makes it way harder on them. Way harder on them. Because they, they can actually have people there for them that will help them get through it. You don't want to cut off everybody on every circumstance. At times, it can be more detrimental to deal with everything by yourself. Because we need an outlet to talk to somebody. We need to, we need to feel like somebody can relate to us. So if somebody make you mad, and then you like, you know what, I'm done with everybody. What about those people that are always in your corner? What about the people that's always looking out for you? Those are not the people to cut off because these are the people that will help us deal with these issues. When we go through depression or suicidal thoughts or whatever that may have came based upon something that has happened to us, something we've done to somebody that we feel regret over or whatever it may be, we cannot forget that there are people that have always been in our corner. It may only be one person. It may be your grandma, maybe your grandpa, maybe your mom, or whoever it may be, your best friend. Oftentimes, it may be one person that you can talk to. And we cannot forget about that one person when we're going through something. Because this life get hard for all of us. Everybody feel like quitting at some point. Everybody is going through something. Everybody got these mountains to climb. And there's times that we all feel like quitting. So the best reminder to keep going is those people that know you at your best form. So when you feel like quitting or you feel like being a recluse and cutting everybody else off, you can do that to help yourself get to a certain point, but never forget those people that's always in your corner. I remember when I was younger, I would do that. I... I would get mad and be like, you know what? I'm done with everybody. Everybody got to go. And as I start coming out of my shell, I'll be like, wait a minute. That person never did nothing to me. Wait a minute. That person only helped me. Whether I'm going to the Boys and Girls Club and I'm, I'm mad at everybody, you know, because something my mom or dad might have done. And I'm like, wait a minute. This person is just working in the game room and they help me out with my homework and all that. Why am I being, you know, why am I shunning them? These are the people that will help you to some degree, whether it is a teacher, whether it's a guidance counselor, whether it's a friend. Somebody can feel you. Somebody. And I know when we going through, we're like, man, don't nobody feel me. I'm going through this by myself. I'm going to do it by myself. I don't care. I felt that way. But when you really look at it, you got to ask yourself, is it progressive? How do we move forward? How do we get out of these painful experiences and grow from them? We can learn a lot on our own, but oftentimes it can come from outside help as well. So we have to look at those people that have always been beside us. Just like you may have always been beside somebody else and you have gotten cut off. You be like, wait a minute, what's going on? Why are they cutting me off? I didn't even do anything. All I do is help them. And you felt like, 
I can be of service to their problems, but yet they're not letting me in. Now think about that on the flip side of when you do it. So that's what I'm saying. Oftentimes we have to think about when we're going through something, who will help us? Who's always been there for us? And should we cut them out? It's just perspective. Do not cut off everybody when you're going through something. Because somebody in your circle will be there to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to the comments, and I love to reply. Thank you.